Hello everyone, this is Neuronium. Welcome back to Sonic Generations. The last time we finished up the last of the challenge gates in the entire game, earning S ranks on all of them. And in this part, we're going red ring hunting, starting with Green Hill Zone Classic. Now there's two reasons why I wanted to start with Green Hill Zone Classic and why it's also one of the only stages that in this beefer of an episode is shown in its entirety. First reason why it's shown in its entirety is because of the fact that we have not gotten a single red ring in either one of the Green Hill Zones. And I want to show off where those red rings are. Second, I was going for an achievement, Ring King, which is basically to go through Green Hill Zone Act 1 without getting hit once. Guess what I didn't get? I didn't get Ring King. So we're going to have to save that for the bonus part. But... Pretty much the name of the game of this episode is just getting red rings. We'll be going into the levels in their order, starting with the Genesis era, going into the uh, Dreamcast era, then going into the modern era. Now, I should mention some of these red rings require multiple playthroughs of a stage. It is impossible to get all of them inside of one run of the stage be it because they are on diverging paths. The only ones I can think of off the top of my head that do this are Sky Sanctuary Zone for Classic Sonic, Speed Highway for Classic Sonic, and Speed Highway for Modern Sonic as well, as well as Ocean Palace Zone. Ocean Palace Zone. Ocean Palace Zone. That is... Sonic Heroes, no, Seaside Hill. I forgot, they kind of combined the two. Um, Crisis City? No, you can get Crisis Cities all in one. I just didn't, because I was an idiot. Um, yeah, I should mention there are achievements for getting certain secret hidden red star rings within the levels. So, Jump for Joy, that's for getting the fifth star ring. That is on the spring in Green Hill Zone Act 1. So, with that, we are done with Green Hill Zone Act 1. So, we get some artwork. And a skill. You need to get all the red star rings in order to get all the skills. And there is an achievement for getting all skills in the game. So, obviously, since we're going for everything inside the Sonic Generations, we have to do this. Alright, and much like how I was handling the levels when it came to doing, you know, like doing classic then modern then classic then modern, or, well, alternating between the two, I'm going to do the same thing in this situation. If I can get this first red star ring, fine. Alright, boing. Bop, bop. I'm trying to think of other ones that require... Oh, I can think of another one that requires an alternate path. I believe that's rooftop run. When it gets later in the episode, after really Green Hill Zone right here, the only stages we're going to be showing in their entirety for the most part are going to be Seaside Hill... And then, as well, Crisis City Classic, because remember, I also didn't get an S on that. And speaking of S-Ranks, there is one S-Rank I forget about, and that is to get the S-Rank for the Chemical Plant Zone Classic stage. So we're going to be getting that last S-Rank, which is going to be the last S-Rank I get in the game, inside of the bonus episode which is going to be premiering after the finale, because after this is the finale. But there is Red Star Ring number three. Sweet trick, Sonic. All right. Now for this one, do not take the upper path. You have to take the lower path in order to get Red Star Ring number four. I believe five is... Well, no, five is... I know where five is. You have to do it for number four. Right? Nope. 
boop. Going up and down and all around. Wait, that's not the stage yet. When you're looking for red star rings, you tend to take some hits. All right, we're coming up on the star ring. It's gonna be on this grind rail right here. It's kinda hard to miss. Although then again, since you don't unlock the ability to start getting red star rings until after Chemical Plant Zone, unless you've been returning to the stages, like I haven't been, you probably already got that one. Right, two, three, four. Boost? The last red star ring is going to be right here. So next up, we are going to be doing, I believe, Chemical Plant Zone Modern? Or Classic. It looks like we're doing Classic first, so I kind of screwed up on my order already. Good job, me. Good job. But another S rank, no achievement necessary because we already got the achievement. So, get that, and that, 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 and acceleration. We have maximum acceleration! So, we have one in Chemical Plant Modern. Oh, I was right, I am doing Chemical Plant Modern. My mistake. And the first one for Chemical Plant Modern, you have to go on the bottom path in order to be able to get. This is the only one I missed, and it's because I was trying to go for the Walk on Water achievement which is to not um, touch any of the chemical water inside of chemical plant zone. Which can be more annoying than you might think. But, let's go down. Boop, boop, boop. Boost. Right. And the red star ring is going to be up right here. So keep in mind, you have to beat the stage in order to get the red star ring. So now let's move on to Chemical Plant Classic. Go on the upper path. Was it the upper path? Yeah, upper path to get to that area right there. And then you will get to the first red star ring. Now for the next one, because it's so close by, I didn't cut it out. It is right up here. This is one that I missed and I tried getting, but that was my bad. So, jump across the platforms right here. There's Red Star Ring number two. And the last one, when you're at the checkpoint and you get to the slide, you have to jump over the slide, which is a lot more finicky than you might think. And we will be on the path towards the next red star ring. And then we have to go to Sky Sanctuary Zone, where there are two branching paths. To get to the last two red star rings, because I got one of them. Uh, here's red star ring number five. I got one of them already. Which was the middle path for Sky Sanctuary Zone. However... And what sucks is, if I hadn't have died, I would have gotten... No, I would have still gotten an A. Alright, so I, would, I wasn't going to get an S on that one. Get all the stuff. There we go. So, next up is Sky Sanctuary Zone. So... When we get to this part right here, where you can take the clouds on the upper path, but you have to be fast enough, otherwise the cloud disappears. Go on the lower path first, and you will get to one of the red star rings we had missed. You will recognize this path because I took this path when going against the doppelganger a few times. Actually, no, because I didn't show off the failures of the multiple times I had to do the doppelganger race. Well, this is a good way through the stage. Now, right here... For both red star rings, you have to go through this area. However, go down and you will lead to one red star ring, go up onto a spring and onto some clouds, 
and then you will get the other one. So pretty much you're going to the same spot twice, which is the best way I can describe it. Egg robos, but are they hard-boiled heavies? Right. That egg robo came fast. Right. Now for a good majority of the episode, we're going to spend in Sky Sanctuary Zone. Makes sense. Right, going down. Going up into the light. And Boop. There we go. Boop. We're just about at the end of the stage. So go along the crumbling towers. This one leads you to the far left red star ring. So, that deals with that. Get another perfect sky sanctuary. So, let us get some artwork. Artwork 60. If you remember, we have all the red star rings as modern Sonic, so we just need to do the other one as classic. So, go to the same spot, jump on the clouds, we are here you once more, jump. I went in the upper path, okay, maybe I... Okay, I did lie. You have to go to the upper path. My bad. Roxas lied. Nero lied. I'm never gonna use the fact that I'm near on your mail, am I? Boing? Boing? Alright. Okay, so because I ended up screwing that up, I ended up going on the right path now. I'll just follow what I'm doing, you know where it's at. Boing. Bop. Boing. Bop. Blop. Boing. We must catch the death egg. Boop. And now we are on the far right hand path, getting ourselves the final red star ring of Sky Sanctuary. Right. So, there's that. And we get the twin spin attack, which is basically the uh, one attack from Sonic 3 and Knuckles when you hit the A button. But, now we are going up and down and all around, and we are inside the hotel, jumping down to where I'm at right here, and we will get to... A red starring I missed. Which I believe is actually the one of the only ones I missed. In fact, it was the only one I was missing. Okay, we get the power sneakers. So, next up we have Modern, which this one I ended up skipping even though I could have gotten in the first time. It's right there on that grind rail, so let's go back. Go back up. Good Sonic. And that's Red Star Ring 1, so now let us go towards the end of the stage where there is that other Red Star Ring. If you remember, when I revisited Speed Highway, I got the byway for the highway achievement, which was to get the Red Star Ring on the secret part of the highway. So, with that, we are done with Speed Highways. So now we go on to the one that probably took me one of the longest times. City Escape Modern. So, first things first, let's get Wave Ocean. 
from Sonic 06, and the auto gauge, that's just a regenerating. Now, this is another one of those stages where you are going to have to redo the stage multiple times, because the first two red star rings, the first one, you have to do it that way. And the second red star ring that's in the stage, you have to take an alternate grind rail while you are on the... Um... Well, you are on the snowboard. So, we get two artworks. You might notice I missed two red star rings. That is because the final red star ring is at the gun truck section, which I missed a lot. And I mean a lot. So, do some tricks. Grind on here. And as you can see, red star ring number two is right there. So, now let's get to the gun truck. Which, as you can see, it took me a little while. I just my life now. And last red star ring get very easy to miss that one so 66 67 and the quick slide next up classic city escape where we only have a one to get and this one you have to take the upper path at the beginning of the stage to grind down the roofs in order to be able to get this one i kept missing this one so yeah right pop let us grind down the roofs, destroy the tar, and get the last red star ring of City Escape. So, we get the board master, which basically means you can ride your snowboard or skateboard whenever you want. And now we have the wave. I keep wanting to call it Ocean Palace, and I keep correcting myself to something else. Either way, we're in Seaside Hill Classic. Seaside Hill Classic, you gotta take the upper path to get the first red star ring because it is underwater on an upper pathway. Now, I should mention that for this one, we are gonna be showing off more of the stage in pretty much its entirety because there is an achievement for getting one of them that I have not gotten yet. So, let's get some air. Let's go right here. Oh, look at those little egg ponds with their little guns from Shadow the Hedgehog. Aren't they adorable? Now, I only got one red starring inside of... Wait, I keep wanting to call it Wave Ocean because I got Wave Ocean music. I only got one in Seaside Hill. I, w I want to call everything, like, just not Seaside Hill in this episode. Anyway, pretty much for that one, we uh, had to take the cannon to get to the upper path right here and we would have gotten one. Now for this one, wait for the platform to be all the way on to the right to be able to jump and clear all the jumps for this one. And this is how you will get to red star rings number three and four because they are after this cannon. You can see red star ring number three right there. Just run up, run right into it. And now number four is a little bit obscure you're gonna have to go down on that red platform ride the waterway downwards to get to a secret area so wait for this platform to fall have everything glitch out thanks game totally wanted that no i wanted to do this go down this way this is the only way you can get to that this part of the stage mind you and the one that glitches out? Yeah, this is the one that glitches out because... Woohoo! I got stuck! I wanted to show that out because the graphical glitches were also pretty funny. Alright. Break that. Right here for red starring number four. And we are back by where red starring number five is. You have to run from the stone pillar and make sure you end up getting to the upper pathway when you get to the end of the stage in order to get red star ring number five. After that, we will be moving on to Seaside Hill Modern. We will be done with the Dreamcast era and we'll be moving into the Modern era. So, go through here. You have to go through those dashes quickly. And red star ring number five is ours. So next stop, Seaside Hill Modern. 
do a little dance on it and get the secret sleuth for getting the secret path inside of the other area. There we go. So we'll get some art. All right. And now on to Seaside Hill Modern, where we're going to go through half of the stage to where we get to where the cars are. You have to take the car path in order to be able to get this. So, take the car. Sonic's finally old enough to get his driving permit. So. Now take the slow path this time, you don't want to miss it, don't take that ramp because you will end up having a harder time getting Red Star Ring number 4. So, now you're going to need to take the upper pathway inside of the palace, so make sure you end up taking these rings, and make sure you have enough boost, you're going to have to wall jump the right way, I almost screwed that up royally. Wait for the enemy spinner. Boop. Going up. And going through. So then we can end up getting red star ring numero cinco. So, we get Artwork 73, Windmill Isle Day, and the Direct Jump ability. So now that we are done with the Dreamcast era, let us move on to the modern era, starting with classic city escape or no modern city escape where the first one took me a while to get do not boost when doing this simply walk up the platform and grab it next up we have the last one which is actually inside of this area right here and i miss it so why am i keeping this in because there's an achievement for not getting hit by any debris inside of this section. I realize I missed the red star ring, I'm cursing myself out, but I get the look both ways achievement. Oops. So, now we gotta go back into Crisis City Modern to get one red star ring. Go me. So, See, I'm not caring about damage at this point. Get the last red star ring. And Crisis City Modern is done. So now let us move on to Crisis City Classic. Which I know where all the red star rings are. Which is good. Thank you, notes. So, get Artwork 75 and the Serial Homing Attack. Used to be called the Light Speed Attack. Alright. You know what they say. Fourth time's the charm. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the fourth time in which I did this. But oh well, I like Crystal City Classics music, so... Win... Lose? Alright. So, ouch. Let's try it this time. And let's get through this stage together with signpost trolling. Right, only. 0 0.09 milliseconds slower. Ouch. Owies. Owies. Darn. Hibless wolves. Boop. Alright. So let us. Not spin dash too fast this time. 
do not jump, get red star ring number four. And the final red star ring is simply located right by the goalpost. I could have sworn I had grabbed it, but... Like... I could have sworn I grabbed it. I might have died and then forgotten to grab it. As you can see, it's right here with Tornado trying to kill me. So that's red star ring number five. Now let us jump up. And then after this, we do the rooftop runs. Starting with rooftop run classic. In which case, I think rooftop run has two. Right. There we go. It's taking away my platforms. Get me away. Boing. Boing. Oh. Come on. I can do this. I can get the S rank. Oh yeah, S rank. Sweet. Right, we got artwork, 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 and Hercules muscles. Hercules, Hercules. So. Now for the last red star ring that we are missing for rooftop run, we have to make sure that we go into the right hand side of the clock to jump up to get to the last red star ring. Now let us go through flying battery zone mini. There we go. Huh, I guess there isn't an achievement. But that was also an S rank, which I realized I didn't show off the full stage. Oop, my bad. I guess I broke my rule. Alright, so artwork 79 and the something. Now for Rooftop Run Modern, the first red star ring I missed by complete accident. It is on this grind rail. Next red star ring is the right here. But to grab that when you are running it is very easy to miss considering that you are losing the time. And that red star ring actually will give you an achievement. So, let us get all the rings from Flying Battery Zone Mini. And then after this, it is time for the final stage. So, a quick breather. Final stage time. It's time for, oh boy, Planet Wisp Modern. This one took me a while to get to this one. I showed this one off, but I wasn't able to get it because I think I had died. And I restarted the level. But you go up this way when you're inside the factory. Both of them are inside the factory. That platform right there does not come back. Which kind of sucks. What you have to do is wait for the timing to get right. And then get the arc for it. So, next up, we have this minecart section, as you know. You have to go through those hoops this time. And rocket. Right, get to right here. Jump up, get the red star ring for five. That's all modern red star rings. So now let's go into the classic one. In which we get ring energy bonus for Planet West Modern. 
you might notice I have the Thunder Shield skill equipped. This is the only time in the game I've had to do this because I am just bad at timing this jump and doing it without the double jump ability that the Thunder Shield brings. But that's for Red Starring number three. For right now, we're going for Red Starring number one, which you take the upper path in the beginning. There's a spike wisp here. Grab the spike. And then get the first Red Starring. Next one, go to where Red Starring number two was. This platform right here. You double jump to right here. You will get to the other side. And as a result, you will be able to get towards Red Star Ring number three. Since we already got number two. So, spin dash. Spin dash. I said spin dash. Come on, plastic, you're making me look bad. We'll look worse than normal. There we go. So, now we have to continue on this pathway in order to get to red starring number four. Which is just perfect. I love it when it's all on one pathway. You're going to want spike for this. And as you can see, there is the last red starring of the game. There we go. That is all red starring in Sonic Generation. So, let us get to the end of the stage. You've already seen this. And yes, I did spend seven minutes inside of Planet with Classic. Guess what? That's still an S. With just 20 rings. But, red star ring, red ring collector. And with that, anyway guys, I'm gonna end it off right here gonna wait until we end up showing off the little prizes but next time is the finale of sonic generations and congratulations classic sonic you learned how to homing attack now you can transition into modern properly now learn to boost see you all next time do a little dance